We never attribute individual events such as a, a hurricane season or a tornado outbreak to global warming. Global warming is, refers more to long-term trends and really doesn't address specific events. The, uh, for instance, we're predicting an active hurricane season this year, but that's related to a couple of climate factors. One is that we've had uh, very active hurricane season since 1995, and the conditions that have been producing that activity are still in place. The second factor is that the Atlantic Ocean temperature is still quite a bit warmer than normal. So when you, when you have that combination of conditions, you have a high likelihood of an active season. Our climate models really don't allow us to predict years in advance whether the climate patterns in place now will persist or not. Historically, these active eras that we're in now have lasted anywhere from 25 to 40 years. We're now 16 years into an active era. Predicting exactly when it will end, we really can't say. If you're a coastal resident or, or a resident that could be impacted by a hurricane, you need to prepare for each and every hurricane season, regardless of our seasonal outlook. Because we know hurricanes affect us in many ways. We often see on the news uh, very strong winds along the coast or the storm surge. Well, those are very important. But there's other aspects of the hurricane, like tremendous rainfall and inland flooding. Inland flooding is now the main cause of death from hurricanes. Hurricanes can also produce a lot of tornadoes. So its impacts can extend way inland from where the hurricane's actually making shore. So what you need to do if you're a coastal resident is think about how a hurricane might impact you in these different ways and then develop your hurricane preparedness plan accordingly so that you're ready if a hurricane does strike.